All right, so today I want to show you guys a open source AI tool called PowerPaint. And this tool is as good as, maybe even better than Adobe's Firefly AI. You can do in painting, object removal, uh, expand the canvas like image and all that. So this thing is actually insane. And you guessed it, right? It's open source plus completely free. And you can also run this locally. We will talk about that later in this video. First, I need to show you guys some demo. All right, uh, I'll do my own demo. This is the official GitHub page where you can learn more about this um, AI tool, how this thing works, and you can also see the demos. They even did the comparison in between uh, Adobe Firefly and the power power paint and also some other in painting tools so it's it's actually looking good i mean they are doing the comparison that means it has to be good and i have already tested this that's why you can see excitement in my face that yeah i'm truly excited to show you guys this right i leave this to you guys okay you can go to powerpaint.github.io and from here you can you know uh, see all the demos and whatnot now i want to show you guys my own demo first if you want to run this locally you can go to github page here um, powerpaint and then follow the instructions and all that or you can do a online demo or run it online uh, it's the openxlab.org.cn you can also get the link from here actually let's open this from the beginning and this is the interface now we can import our image let's say this one all right and uh, we have different options text guided object in painting object removal in painting image out painting shape guided object in painting and all that so first let me show you guys the out painting which will basically expand this image you can also give a prompt if you want to, but it is important to uh, change the aspect ratio, right? So horizontal, I want to expand this horizontally. So I'm gonna change, let's say 2.5, which is a lot actually, but I'm gonna do it anyway, okay? And I'm gonna just a little bit, maybe 1.1 vertically too, okay? I'm just gonna run it now. We also have advanced options. We are not going to talk about this. I'm just gonna leave everything as it is default and I'm gonna click on run, all right? Once you run it, you'll get the in-painting results here. But we just have to wait a couple of seconds because we are running this online and uh, I'm not the only one who's using this tool. So you can see I'm in a queue, uh, not a lot of people right now, but hopefully I'll <laughs> get it okay now you can see queue is over and it says processing which means now it should expand my image all right so here it is just ready to be amazed all right this is our original image this is the in painting result uh, we just have to click on it because we horizontally expanded it so it can't show all the things in like this window we have to actually click on it to we have the full image and look at that i'm just gonna download it actually and uh, let me open the original one so you can see <laughs> wow this is insane all right this is just insane you can also do the object removal i have already tested this couple of times and i know this thing actually works and it is just insane all right now let's have another picture actually for object removal let me give you guys even better demo like you know so it can actually also remove text so let's say i don't like the text in this picture i want this picture to be clean so you can see here we have a text in here all right we're gonna remove it i'm just gonna simply paint in there and i'm gonna run it just default settings and everything, all right? This time it straight says processing because I'm not in a queue, so it will be quicker. It is actually quicker, wait. Yeah, we just have to wait. The old thing was still there, 
but you can see the text is gone all right and you can also see the mask <laughs> okay this is insane all right and uh, now let's say i wanna actually let's save it maybe we work with this image now all right now let's say i wanna remove this all right the egg <laughs> Uh, it's pointless actually I'm doing this again and again but it's okay uh, we are actually removing the object this time last time we removed the uh, uh, the text now you can see the egg is gone I'm not sure if I can do it with the bigger object in the okay let's let's actually try this okay I'm gonna try to remove this entire uh, chicken and it worked Maybe it could do even better. The chicken was actually taking half of the canvas, so. But you can see it works. All right, let's try something else. Let's do the uh, in painting. All right, uh, let's replace some things or add some things. Maybe we'll choose different picture now. Let's say uh, I wanna add bird in here. Okay, <laughs> bird. When you're in text guided object in painting you can also uh, use the control net which means like you can add some object like from different image to the original image that you're editing you know what i'm trying to say here so we're gonna leave this thing alone and i'm just gonna add the bird in here i'm just gonna run it and hopefully we'll get the bird in here <laughs> okay we're gonna have to wait for oh okay that's actually pretty good. Not pretty good. Actually, really good. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but I think it is taking the texture of the image too. That's clever, <laughs> to be honest. You know, uh, you can see the bird has the texture of uh, this. Uh, I think this is a water drop. And you can see there is a texture. And uh, yeah, they kind of match actually it's insane this is so good <laughs> what if i put elephant in here i mean the elephant <laughs> is like thousand times bigger than the water drop but maybe we'll get some fun little image result i don't know oh <laughs> yeah it's it's cool it looks like i don't know how do i put it together but you can see we got the elephant in here. Maybe there is something wrong with the elephant. We can fix that, like we can do the in painting and all that. But you can see it's pretty good. Even his legs are in the mud, like deep in the mud. <laughs> the, this elephant is attached to the picture. This thing, so good. So good, man. Wow. Okay, I think the demo is over. Uh, you know how this tool works and uh, how this thing is actually insane now uh, let's talk about the local you can actually run this locally but i'm having a trouble right now that's why i chose to show you guys in an online tool i actually downloaded the power paint it's like 17 plus gigabytes it's a huge file and uh, when i try to run this i'm getting error i got many errors like five to six errors sometime the torch would not work sometime it would say like something is missing and all that i fixed all of that now i'm stuck in here i don't know if anyone can help me with this but i'll i'll try to fix it i think i'm gonna have to run this way and right now this is the error that i'm getting like that's why i can't run this locally it says torch not compiled with cuda enabled so i need to figure out what this thing is this is like python thingy that i need to fix um, once i fix this then i'll be able to run this locally and yes we'll be getting the same user interface that we just used uh, it's also using the Guardio, I think. Yeah, Guardio thingy. So basically, even if we run this locally, we'll get the same user interface, all right? But for now, I can't do it because I'm getting the error, all right? 
uh, I'll try to fix that. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, go to this official, you know, page, a powerpoint.github.io. And from here, you know, you'll get some really good demos and, uh, you know, comparisons and all that. So, yeah, that's it. Now I just need to figure out how to fix this uh, error that I'm getting so I can run this locally because, you know, this thing is actually insane. All right. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, please do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.